Hello, my beautifuls. How are you doing? I am so excited to be here with you. Tonight, we're going to study about our higher self matters and understand what your higher self needs to communicate to you right now. So whenever you find this message, this is what your higher self is giving to you as a message that you need to hear at this time. All right, my lovelies. So if you are new, welcome to a love 11 tarot. We are delighted that you are here. And if you are returning, welcome home, my beautiful 11 11 family. I am so excited to be here and uh, welcome home. All right, my loves. With that, I'm about to hit this little brass bowl three times. And so that gives you the opportunity to involve your energy, entangle your energy into the truth, into this frequency that clears your chakras and focuses your energy into your read. Three, two, one. Archangel Michael, please hold my hand as I walk through the tarot. Protect me from all weapons, forms spiritual and physical, that none should prosper or manifest against me. Thank you, Archangel Gabrielle, for the information that you are about to supply to us for the highest good of all those that find this message when they find it. Allow our higher self to communicate through this very thin veil as we understand going forward with this communication as to what it is that is our highest path for our highest good. Thank you for the clarity. Allow me to see clearly. Allow me to speak clearly the truth. Archangel Raphael, thank you humbly for the blessings of healing, spiritual, physical, mental, and emotional. I appreciate the healing of my body. Please continue to heal my 1111 family and all those that have just recently joined for those that accept the blessing. Thank you for the abundant prosperity, the healing, protection, and guidance. All right, my loves. Let's see. What do we feel? What do we feel? Okay. Ooh. Wise one, grow within your current situation. Interesting card on the bottom. Now, let's start. Let's see what my beautiful 1111 family and all those that just joined. Let me understand the energy, please. Sage, devoted and committed. Now, there's quite a few cards here. Let's see what we have. We have four. We'll walk around the board. So ancestors are saying, be devoted and committed to healing, right? So the more you heal others, the more you're going to heal yourself. That's the key. It is. It really is. Being open and allowing your heart chakra to flow. And now over here, as you wake up in the morning, the sun rises. It's about that awakening. What messages our ancestors gifted us as we slept? And uh, for someone that just recently asked, there were two people that asked. One wanted to know their spirit guide, and that is a wolf. And you will know that person, um, Carla. And then there's another person that's asking right now, oh, I would like to know that. Yours is the hawk. You'll feel it. Um, this says shapeshifter, transform and unveil your gifts. So that is what's coming into being in the mind concept is exploring these beautiful ancestral gifts. Your ancestors possess them and that's how they survived. And they followed more of an intuitive manner in life. They read the seasons more. They followed the stars. They knew through what the universe spoke in a universal language as to what was really going on. Shield Maiden, make plans and focus. So this is you being that ancestral person that um, 
it's like saying, okay, I'm going to get to know me, like my heritage here. There's some importance here. And then beautiful energy because we're riding straight up this highway, the highway to our North Node. And it's snake, shed the old skin. So your higher self is saying you're shedding this old belief of things being not important from the past. Like, don't let your past hold you back. But at the same time, there are lessons that we need to go back into our past lives to claim that release our transformation and universal gifts. And each of us does have gifts. It's a matter of exploring them and not fearing that which we've been programmed to do. Wow, that is exquisite. Let's get this middle card, this great spirit in the middle. Let me understand your personal energy in the current time frame, surrounded by this beauty. What is this? Door to spirit. I kid you not. Your higher self is like, you're here. I'm with you now. You found the door to spirit. Can't make it up. Right in the middle. Exquisite. I love it. I, I love this read. Oh, my. All righty. Let's see. What am I feeling to define a little bit more? Let's try the doors. This is a new deck. I want to say thank you to Sully for the cards that you were seeing. Um, A.K.A. Carrie Gigi has sent us so many beautiful cards to share. Um, 11 gifts total, and I believe nine of them are cards that you're going to be seeing, such as these deck right here, these doors. And this deck right here, it's all about the ancestors and angels and ancestors. Okay, here we go. Let's see what doors you get. We're going to open a door here. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. Okay, we're closing the door here. We're opening a door here. So what are we closing? What is it that my beautiful 1111 family and all those that have tuned in, what door are you closing? Thank you. Oh, you got the door, both doors. Okay. So. <clears throat> all right. You got the blue door. We just went through a door series. This is crazy. All right, so you might want to go back and watch the 12 degrees of higher self. This is the higher self reading I'm doing tonight where highest, higher self matters. And I just did the 12 degrees of higher self. It's all about doors that are coming into your view. And if you want heads up and be able to transmute through those energies and those trials and get to the blessings, the best way is to watch those videos, I kid you not. And there's a blue door in that reading. And this says, the art of life. There's no sacred light in the aura of the invisible life. Be bold in your skin. Let your love dance in sight. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. I feel it. Let's see where you're going. So we're closing this door of not shining. And we're coming over here and we're going to start shining our light. And look at this door. It like goes on for days. Like, hello, what? It even kind of looks like it could be flipped. I don't know. It's really confusing. And it looks like it gets small, right? Patience. Everything soon will come to light. And then you will see things will be all right. Just trust, have faith. Gretchen, do you need to have a few minutes? Y'all, we're going to come back. We're going to qualify. We'll walk the boards on the four pillars for you. That explains really deep as to what it is you're talking directly to your higher self, door to spirit. You've got the shape-shifting universal gift coming about. And it's very interesting because it's coming from the ancestors. And it's talking about healing. You shedding this old skin. I'll be right back. Truth train coming through. All right, my lovelies. Whew, I ran up the stairs and down the stairs. Forgot something. Had to run back down. Grab that. Grab this. She went potty. She got a drink and she had a snack. So Noah has her now, 
and we are all set to go. If you're wondering, if you're new, I'm talking about Gretchen. She's my teddy bear uh, puppy. I say puppy. She's actually 13. I don't know. She's old. <laughs> All right, so we're getting into this transformational energy, and it's about unveiling your gifts, your universal gift that the universe has gifted to you. And it's understanding that you're about to go through this huge transformation. And remember, patience, it'll come in for you when you're meant to go through this time frame. And it's different for each of you, and this may be the future. You might see this come in this month, you might see it next month, but... It'll be close to when you find this message. All right, my lovely. In illumination, clarity, and wisdom. If you're wondering, this is the 1111 board. It's actually a mat. Um, pretty heavy duty, like canvas-like paper. Um, it's a poster, and it's solid. Really well made. If you're interested in that, there is the comments pinned below. And you can get that, or even a highest path, personal path reading. All right, my love, Illumination, Clarity, Wisdom. Here we go. Six of Cups. You're, er, yeah, okay, yes, inner child for sure. So the healing has begun, and that is because the identification is there. You're starting to really understand that the inner child is important, and that's what your higher self is talking about, is healing this beautiful energy. You can see the butterflies, and this is all about this transformational energy. And with this abundance of these butterflies and kittens, and there's like, it's very cute. There's rabbits, and there's these kids. The kid's got a frog on his shoulder. It's just nature. It's just enjoying things. It's enjoying things in the now. Like, really, really, really soaking in the goodness of your life and being like, I am so happy that I had today. Whatever day this says, Clarity, what do you have? Eight of Pentacles, which is mastering something. In communication on the board, it's your third house. And it's Mercury. It's Gemini energy. Um, and it is working on something. Like you are mastering something. And it could be the healing of the inner child. Transforming. The more you heal, heal the inner child, the more st the stronger your gift becomes. So let's look at this wisdom. And thank you. Thank you. Ooh, ooh. What? Something got closed. It's done and over. So you just went through, talk about transformation. You got the tower. Um, this is all about this, like, it was trying to achieve something that was never meant to be. Okay? And so the universe was like, no, stop her from wasting her time. Stop him from investing in this. It's got to be ripped down to the bottom. Not even a foundation left. Because it's something that you know isn't going to serve you any better. And it's going to open up your crown chakra when this occurs. But it is in your wisdom. You know it's for your highest good. Your higher self is saying, Matt, something that you worked, you invested a lot of time into is being reduced to the bottom. But don't fret. You see that beautiful light shining? It's this beautiful protection of the divine, four of swords, laying to rest this old way of working and never allowing the inner child to breathe. You're allowing the inner child to come out and play, and that's very important. There is something about this tower, though, that um, it's like you're getting your battle shield on. You're getting ready for something and you're making plans and focus strategy here. There's some form like you just got pivoted and there is um, because this is armor. This is armor. So something's got you defensive. Let's understand why you're defensive, why you should be defensive. 
the hermit, protect yourself. Remember to approve, like, you know, you're a free will. Accept the blessings of protection from Archangel Michael. There is a reason, because you're being pulled into your home. Pulling your energy back. There's, there is something going on. What does higher self want to let us know? What can we trust? What can we trust? Four of Cups. It's taken a minute to not ignore something. Don't get complacent. Don't get complacent. That's what I'm hearing. How yourself is saying, don't get comfortable and forget to see this as a blessing because there's something being gifted to you and you need to go within your intuition. We're talking about gifts here and healing, door to spirit. Okay, so there's something that's you're supposed to pay attention. Queen of Swords, it's going to be the truth. The Queen of Swords is the truth seer speaker, the feminine version. She cuts things out, man, and I mean, that's it. What is this growth with the Queen of Swords? And you get the Queen of Cups. What is going on? You have a rival. Hmm. Wait a minute. Is the queen getting a heart? Is the queen getting a heart? I know you've been in protective mode, but um, king or queen doesn't matter. There's no gender in the tarot. Let me understand what's going on with these two queens, please. Three of pentacles. Cooperation. Okay. There's a chance to work together with somebody that's going to benefit you and them. It's a win-win-win. Let me understand this. Three. Two of Wands. Don't feel stuck. Don't feel stuck. Stay on this. It, there is an energy here of working together. And don't overlook this opportunity. Why is that? Why are the puppies upside down? Oh, it's a reflection. I'm seeing puppies, but it's written like that. And I'm like, why is that upside down? Newer cards to me. So I just wanted to make sure. Okay. All right. So there is an opportunity coming. Um, but there's something... Oh, and now Gretchen wants in her chair. One moment, lovelies. I seriously want some more qualification to understand what higher self is saying about these two queens. So, what am I feeling? All right. Let's dig in a little deeper. I'm going to go with the light Sears tarot. Gretchen, I just stopped it and I put you in your chair. You got down on your own. So unless you want to take a bath, because I know you've had everything else, you're going to have to quit. Do you want a bath? Do you want a bath? Why not? Where are you going? Yeah, she'll go lay down now. She's had everything she needs. Okay, two ones stuck again. Double tapping the two of wands. Stuck on travel. So not being able to make the plans take action. Somebody's keeping you stuck. And you're going to have to be the one to keep this rolling or take action because they're not. Male or female doesn't matter. It's just two energies facing off. So you're feeling defensive. Because they're keeping you stuck. You feel stuck by this energy. Let me understand why you feel stuck. Let me understand why you feel stuck. It's something new. You're not quite sure how to go about this, maybe? Okay, higher self. Explain the Four of Cups, please. Show our 1111 family from their higher self what this Four of Cups stuck energy 
nine of wands being protective and look at all the swords and armor True train coming through. Hermit. Show me the hermit. Unusual. Read y'all. Six of swords. So there is travel, but you're stuck in your house. There might be a reason of something getting postponed. Something gets stuck. Postponed. What was this door? Oh, yeah. And we got patience. Look, look, look. Remember? Patience. Divine timing. Something gets stuck stuck here and you're like stuck at home wanting to travel but having to be very very protective but you are worried about missing an opportunity the art of life there's no sacred light in the aura of an invisible light be bold dance in sight so we're in the car waiting on the divine to get the groceries kind of like you know what i'm saying like we've got to wait and let this just kind of come in naturally this is an organic destined event if you will destiny is all introspection dream and experience <clears throat> the sage healing right here be devoted and committed. Introspection, dream, and experience. Okay. Thank you. Ace of Swords, clarity coming out on your ninth house, which is all about your travel. So something becomes clear where you feel stuck on this trip right now, like... You're either stuck on the trip or you're stuck not getting to go on the trip. Something is very, very postponed. Your higher self is saying it is universally stuck. It's not a 3D thing. It gets released when this clarity comes in. Let me see. It might be that you need to transmute through creation. Dream, show me this perspective. I feel like you're going to get... A different view so higher self is communicating right now through your inner child saying two of Pentacles and ten of wands yeah right now isn't a good time it isn't something's got to first be put down and it's burdens you've got to put some burdens down whatever that is so we're gonna qualify the burdens right here in the experience. Two of Pentacles is something out of balance. You know, he's juggling, he's standing on one leg, and he's gotta put something down. He can't just keep doing that. And then you have the Two of Wands. I'm sorry, uh, well, you do have the Two of Wands several times, at least twice. But now you've got the Ten of Wands with that Two of Pentacles out of balance. He's just carrying too much up the hill. And he's got to put some of these burdens down. And it's in your perspective. So something has to be put down and let go of. Let's understand that. What is it that gets released? What is it that gets released? Before we get into this beautiful gift. What is it that gets released? And thank you. Your subconscious. You have to make connection to your subconscious. And get past the triggers. And that's when the gifts are given fully, fully, fully. And I believe there's this shedding of old skin, snake. It is like your avatar that you wear daily and seeing yourself as a true light that you are. Let's look at cleansing. Thank you. That was some good energy. Three of cups, celebration. So the cups are getting purified. And it's a new perspective that you are divinely protected. What God has protected, no man shall curse. What God has protected, no man shall curse. What God has protected, no darkness shall prevail. Renewal. Let's understand this. What is getting renewed? This is, you know, your scorpionic energy. And if that's the moon, judgment. Yes, yeah, scorpionic energy. 
a huge decision. A huge decision. You got the hangman followed by judgment. That's like, I need a new perspective. I got it. Yes. Celebration on the board. What is this judgment? What is my 1111 judgment? What judgment did you, your happiness. Oh my golly. It's embracing the universe and going for it. It is not playing small. It is shining your light. I love it. Purity, last place on the board. Let's see this beautiful purification of what we've gone through. What comes out of this for our beautiful blessings. Thank you. Thank you. Seven of Swords is purified. I told you what God, the utmost high creator, your higher self is saying. What is blessed by God, what is chosen by God or your higher self, however you want to say it. Nothing wicked can sabotage. Eight of Cups. You can walk away from all that liar, cheater, thought, all that stuff. You, you're on this journey. You're on this journey. You're on this beautiful, beautiful journey of self-discovery and realizing that you are truly, truly protected. <laughs> That's great. I love this read. Yep, yep, yep. Can't get enough of this read. Wow. All right, my lovely, my sages, look at you. Devotion and committed. There's my beautiful, beautiful 11 11s. Even the new people, you're like, yeah, I want to be a 11 11. You already are, love. You already are. You made it this far in the read. Oh, I hear somebody knocking. Crystals, focus. Focus your energy. Because you're about to shape shift your DNA. It's activation of your DNA. It's your star DNA. And you're about to shape shift. Literally shed that skin. Look at the shield maiden. Make plans and focus. And look at this. You got focus. Focus, focus. Keep your focus on love. Because love's the most important thing in the world. In the universe. Who did you love? Everyone. That's why you're special. Because you loved everyone. And that's why you connect so well to the young ones. Because they love everyone. Why you love fur babies. Because fur babies love everyone. <laughs> Your ancestors will not leave you. You are never alone. They're here. Villagence. Stone villagence. Snake. Let's look at this shedding the old skin. <laughs> oh, I can't make it up. Dragonfly emergence. You are this dragonfly of energy emerging in the spring. And you get the wings. You're like a helicopter butterfly. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Higher self is just always there for us. You are never alone, my dear. I love you, dreamer. <laughs> I had to say that. And you know, as we heal, as we share, sometimes we have to vent about some of the traumatic things. And you feel this moment where you're inspired to do so. Please do so. Whether it's live chat or the other chat, allow it to exit you. Transmute it by putting it in words and you know, you'll be surprised, believe it or not, so many of us that are attracted together magnetize because of the trauma we've been through. But we all share that common ground of wanting healing for the planet. Isn't that beautiful? You guys are beautiful. You're amazing. And don't forget it. That's higher self to you. I love you. I do. If this resonated with you or you just feel, I don't know, 
the intuition, to love a little bit on the like button. I appreciate it. I love you all to the moon and back. God bless you.